Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you don't already do. And now on to the rest of the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'll be reviewing the Dr. Dennis Gross Clinical Grade Resurfacing Liquid Peel. I got this sample from Pinch Me. I'll put a link down below for Pinch Me. It's a company that sends you products every month for free. I just sign up and fill out a Excuse my little hair here. This doesn't want to work with me. All my curly girls know sometimes your hair is just has a mind of its own. Um, so I did, I've done reviews for this brand, the Dr. Dennis Gross. Um, I'll put that link down below for that one. It was another peel. It was like a, a cloth, like a white peel. And like it burned my skin. So I'm a little nervous to try this peel. But we will see so it says after just two weeks which we're not doing two weeks we're just doing one day unless the, unless the bottle is like a two-week process hmm we'll see because 100 percent of the subjects showed improvement in skin radiant improvement in skin radiance 95 percent of subjects showed improvement in skin texture and 83 percent of subjects showed improvement in the appearance of pores so if this can improve the appearance of my pores, I'm all for it. I don't, I'm not sure how much this costs. I know that the other one was so expensive. Sorry, I had to turn off my fan. I realized that it was like overpowering my voice. Um, I know that the other brand, the other Dennis Cross's white um, alphabeta peel that I tried was expensive. So I'm not sure how much this one is. I'll put, probably put the price in this video somewhere or in the description down below. But this is a very good brand. It's it's a high price brand, so I'm not sure if it's amazing, but we're gonna test it out and see. Okay, how to use. For AM or PM use, up to three times a week. Apply one step one to the to cotton ball by making two three second turns. Uh, massage onto clean, dry skin. Wait two minutes and repeat the process with step two. Do not rinse. Use only at the, as directed. Avoid contact with eyes. So it says, it's called, um, it says here, power in your hands, our most potent peel. And I am nervous because the last time I used one of their peels, like I said, it burned my skin. Like I didn't have... Like my friend, like it didn't affect my skin afterward. It wasn't like red or patchy or anything. It just like, as I was using it, the initial use, it was burning. Little cotton balls, four cotton balls, I guess, two for step one and two for step two. This way it goes through your whole face. And then this is step one is the alpha, beta, acid, pH 3.5. And then step two is the anti-aging neutralizer. I think this is like a two week one. Like this is enough to do a trial. Oh, we'll see, we'll see after I try this. So it's lactic acid, glycolic acid and bromelain, bromelain. That's step one. And then step two has scintilla asiatica, Green tea extract and colladiol oatmeal. You know what? Here. You could read that because I definitely butchered with my accent. <laughs> Blame my mother for that. You could read that. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> um, as you can tell, I'm very hesitant to try this let's see it is cruelty free it is vegan it is paraben free so hey guys another vegan option i'm bringing to you in my channel although i knew that this brand was a vegan brand i like like i if you're new to my channel i like to use organic or natural vegan brands and if you're not new to my channel and you didn't know that well now you know all right you see how i'm like stalling here so i don't have to like let's Pad, take off the glasses and I'm going to do this blindly because I am a blind person 
Ooh, it said on clean skin. So hold on, let me go wash my face and then I'll come right back. All right, guys. So my face is cleaned. Oh, pray for me. All right, it's happening, guys. It is happening. So. Three second turns. It smells, um. It smells potent. I don't know if I'm supposed to dab or swipe. I'm gonna swipe actually. Probably supposed to dab, but dabbing was taking way, way, way too long. Oh, my face. I just cleaned it. Well, that's what peels are for. You're supposed to clean out your skin. I think. Not sure. I'm not a professional. There's me just being a test subject for all of you. Alright. Oh, it's starting to burn. Dr. Dennis Cross, why do you do this to me? I guess it's a peel. It's supposed to... Your skin is supposed to burn. I feel like it's burning. Oh, I guess it's supposed to do that. Oh my God, guys. It's like I'm a masochist right now. I'm enjoying the pain. Oh my God. Uh. Comment down below, let me know. Are face peels supposed to burn? Oh, my face is on fire. Just breathe in and out. Guys, my face is on fire. Mostly like my cheek area is. <sighs> you would think I would have learned from the last time I used one of their facial peels. This was a freaking liquid. I should have known it was going to be worse. Like it hurts still. Like at least last time when I did it, it was like a little bit of pain. And then I breathed in and then like a few minutes later it stopped. No, this one is like everlasting. It won't stop. Like. Oh wait, it says massage into skin. Hold on. Oh. Is this why... Men, like, when they shave and they put alcohol, they slap their skin. Maybe. I just learned something new. And if you just learned something new with me, we did it together. You already knew? Well, sorry. I didn't know. Oh, no. No, no, no. That was worse. Made it worse. My face. It burns. Oh, my God. Let's take a deep breath. Oh my god, I'm not even being dramatic. I'm contemplating whether or not I should put this in the video or not. Oh my god. I gotta look at, my at least my face isn't red. Well, my cheeks are a little red, but they were red before. Oh my god. Okay, maybe, you know what I learned last time when I did the peel? When you do the second step, the second step is more of like a cooling, so I like... My God, let's see. Wait two minutes and repeat the process with step two. Do not rinse. Wait two minutes? Has it been two minutes? Let me see the timer. Probably it's been two minutes of me freaking out because my face is burning. My face is still freaking burning. Like right here, it's like on fire. So if you don't like burning, but you want to get a face peel. Well, I feel like when you go to get an, a face peel, like I've never gotten one, but let me know in the comments if I'm right or wrong. When you do a face peel, it burns your skin because what it's doing is taking off a layer of your skin. Like, right? I could be wrong. I could be right. I keep taking number one. Okay, it's like, it's going to take going down a little bit, but. Oh my God. All right, so. Let's do number 
Thank God I didn't even put so much of the other one. Because the other one, the peel part actually, like, was killing me. My face still hurts. Like, right here, it feels so sore. <laughs> My face hurts. you think I would have learned by now, but no. Over here. <laughs> Let's burn my face again. But at least the end result, my skin is going to look amazing. So I guess, like, when I was a little girl, whenever I, we used to do my hair, and I would hate being under the uh, dryer, we'll do rollers, and, like, they'll pull my hair, and my grandma would just tell me, beauty is pain. And I'm like, oh, my God. Well, to get good skin, apparently beauty is pain. And give it a few minutes, let my skin dry. But I don't want your reaction to dissuade. Dr. Dennis Cross is a really good brand. It's a um, highly acclaimed brand. It's just like a uh, Lancer. Is it? It's called, yeah, Lancer. Um, they're a really good brand, like celebrity skincare doctor, Dr. Lancer, whatever. Um, and Dr. Dennis Cross is like another one. It's available in Sephora. It's a really expensive brand. It's a high quality brand. And it does what it says it's supposed to do on my poor, uh, product, poor product face. <laughs> Maybe it didn't. It's like my skin's not used to peels. Like I don't do peels as often. I do like exfoliants and face mask and cleansers but peels is not something that i normally do so every time i attempt to try a peel because i've gotten it for free i've gotten it somewhere i'm reviewing it it's only my second time using a peel so my face is gonna freak out a little bit it's like what are you doing you're putting acid on me well not acid imagine but it is an acidic but yeah oh. all right so this is what my face i'm gonna come in so my face looks like afterward did I do it before I hope I did it before but like here it's red I got like the cotton on my face here it's red here it's red and my nose is red and it still burns here here and wherever you see is red it burns in those spots so I'm not sure if my skin is allergic to it or if I'm just being overly sensitive or my skin is being overly sensitive. But that was my review of the Dr. Dennis Gross's liquid peel. Is that what it's called? Of the clinical grade resurfacing liquid peel. My face does feel softer, I have to say. Right now it's key because I don't think it's dried completely. Because I don't think it's dried completely. But it does feel softer. The texture has changed. And it's only been one use so yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel please thank you guys so much for watching i hope that i've entertained you with my pain and my agony but i have not dissuaded you about trying the peel dissuaded just just the word that i'm trying to use you know which word i'm trying to use like always, again, like and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day, afternoon, or evening, whichever time you're watching. Bye now.